All right. Um, this is my tech tree. Uh, back when this, uh, when the rockets I'm going to be showing were made, let's see, I had uh, a good portion of uh, everything on this uh, second row uh, filled out. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, um, you can definitely get to orbit like right from the beginning, uh, but it's not easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is my. Uh, pretty simple rocket it's got a lot of uh, parts to it there we go um but it's pretty straightforward i got three stages uh, a first stage a second stage third stage um but then i'm also complemented by a bunch of uh these solid rocket boosters here and we won't go too deep into construction on, in this um you can imagine if there was a capsule sitting on top of this decoupler with a parachute you don't need a fancy glider like i've got going on here that's just what i felt like flying and uh yeah so let's get ready to launch here if you don't know the key buttons i highly recommend uh looking up a wikipedia um that's how i learned all the key uh bindings um so i'm not going to go into too much detail on keys but all right um all right well i'm going to make sure my uh sas is turned on you can do that by tapping t that's the light that's going on down here um then i'm going to throttle up and actually Actually, let's not throttle up yet. Let's make it daytime, just so we can launch during the day. There we go. All right. Throttling up, and here we go. Um, first stage, we're just pretty much going to want to try to go straight up. Uh, you want to go straight up until you're about 200 meters a second. That seems to be about when you want to start to tip towards the east. Um, this might not necessarily be the most professionally fuel efficient way to do this but i'm just showing you how it has always worked for me um i do know you want to go off to the east and that's called a gravity turn and uh, why you want to do that is because that's the direction the planet rotates and you'll get a little boost so you see how i'm tipping towards 90 now i don't want to go too far away from that uh yellow indicator here um, on my nav ball um, and the yellow indicator with the open middle that is the direction your spacecraft is going so I don't want to go too far away from it because it's uh that's the direction I'm going and this this spacecraft does have wings on it so it'll, it'll affect me. But uh you see how I keep going uh, a little closer towards 90 here. Um I don't really know any magic number for for when you want to be tipping this way um all the way to the 90, but uh what it seems to be for me is you want to be barely touching this 90 on the nav ball here um here and then we go to the map here and see about how it is but uh when you're above about 20 some see how now i'm at uh, 20 000 meters that seems to be about when you want to start dripping under the 90 degree mark uh oh and there you saw the g-forces shoot up here that's because my stage went out uh, so now i've discarded those um, you can tap M to get quickly in and out of uh, the map view. Okay, now you see how this is coasting away from me? What you want to do is try to tip more uh, horizontally here, more towards uh, the horizon um, to save fuel. But at the same time, you want to make sure this is shooting away from you. If it doesn't look like it's going up and away very fast, you've gone too far horizontal. Um, and you can just go back up like this to make it shooting away again. Um, you see about how somewhere in here it will start to rush. Let's see, that's we're doing great though. That's about what we want to see. And uh, all right, when this gets anywhere above 80, it seems to be safe to to stop there. Um, but we're gonna go for 100. So all right, 100,000 meters, and we press X to totally kill thrust, or you can hold Control to throttle down. It just takes more time. Um, and nice, perfect. We're actually outside of the atmosphere. Uh, so that was all good and grand. Now, uh, we have tons of fuel on board. So uh, the next step of our flight is that we've killed our engine. Um, and we are just going to float with the speed we've built up uh, to Apogee here, to the peak of our arc. And when we're at the peak of our arc, we're going to burn our thruster, or our engine, excuse me. We're going to burn our engine... Um, towards this uh the the velocity vector here the direction where we're flying all right and i'm just going to speed up time uh with the greater than less than signs on the keyboard um 
All right, here we are. You can point at it and see about how far you are away. All right, and it's okay to start a little early on this, but we're just gonna point this direction and we are gonna fire the engine. And now what we're looking for is uh, our arc is gonna go around the whole planet. And when this AP switches really fast, we press X. There it goes, X. Now we zoom out and see about how they are. 100 and 110, perfect. Um, and that's the best visual cue for when you've actually made orbit is when your uh, apoaps, uh, when your apogee indicator it goes shooting off to switch with the perigee indicator, um, and then that's when you should kill thrust because you're in a nice circular orbit. And here we are, and we've got tons of fuel. Uh, we can take this on to the moon in my next video.